Hey everybody. Lately I've been getting these notices from my ISP that I'm using too much bandwidth. I've heard that they may force me to upgrade to the next tier if I don't stay under that limit, so I've decided to start monitoring my bandwidth so that I can be sure that I'm not going over. My ISP has a bandwidth meter on their site, but I don't really trust it that much. I'm not going to just take their word for it. I'm going to monitor it myself. So I found this little program that works great for it. It's called NetSpeed Monitor. You can click on the link in the description to go to their website and download it. Once you download and install it, to begin monitoring your bandwidth, all you need to do is right click on the taskbar and go up to toolbars and click NetSpeed Monitor. Now that it's up and running, you can see this little toolbar down here with my current upload and download rates in kilobits per second. If you right click the toolbar, you have a number of options, so let's go through them. First is info. All info is is the current version as well as links to their website and email. Below that we have monitoring on and monitoring off. These are pretty self-explanatory. Select monitoring off to turn the monitor off and monitoring on to turn it back on. Below that we have data traffic. Data traffic contains the log of how much bandwidth you've been using. You can see here that on the 5th of May 2013 I've used 2,692 megabytes total. You can see here how much I've uploaded and downloaded. Here we have a choice of day or month where you can switch to the total monthly stats. Here we can select the unit of measurement and we can see our usage in bits, kilobits, megabytes, and gigabytes. I'm interested in gigabytes so I'll leave it there. Lastly we have these database options import wizard, export wizard, and clear database. Let's take a look at how to use these options. All of your bandwidth stats are stored in a SQLite database. So maybe you want to do a system restore, but you want your bandwidth stats to remain correct and not reset. You could go to export wizard and we get this prompt asking where we'd like to save the file. I'll just save it in my documents and I'll call it bandwidth and click save. All you need to do is click the start button and it will export your database. If I click on Clear Database, I get a prompt that says, You are going to clear the database. All monitored data will be deleted. Are you sure? Click Yes, and the database is wiped. Now, I can import the bandwidth database that I just saved by going to the Import Wizard. Once you open up the Import Wizard, you need to select the database you want to import, and then choose between the options, Upgrade Existing Values, and Insert as New Traffic Data. Let's say you choose Upgrade Existing Values. Well, NetSpeed Monitor has been monitoring my bandwidth since I cleared the database. Upgrade Existing Values will include any bandwidth you've used before importing, while Insert as New Traffic Data inserts just stats from the database, disregarding any bandwidth used prior to the import. I want to include any bandwidth used while the database was cleared, so I'll select Upgrade Existing Values and hit Start. Once the green bar is filled, click on Close. Underneath Data Traffic, we have Connections. Here, you can take a look at all TCP and UDP endpoints. You can also see the local and remote address, the current state, as well as the process that owns the endpoint. Next up, we have Configuration, where we have five tabs. The first is General, where you can select your network interface, as well as the bitrate you are monitoring in which is a range of decimal and binary options. You can also turn monitoring on or off from here. Precision sets the number of digits your monitor will display after the decimal. Right now it's set to 1, but you can set it to 2, 3, or to be a whole number. So if I set the precision to have no decimal and hit apply, you can see that the monitor is now reading out a whole number. I like to see one decimal point, so I'll set it back to that. Here we have the application settings where we can change the language and what happens when you double click the monitor. For example, right now it's set to turn the monitor on or off when you double click it. There's a bunch of stuff you can set it to do when double clicked, but I like it to turn monitoring on and off. In layout, you can change the appearance of the monitor, even making the text glow. In the database tab, you can enable or disable traffic logging and you can choose where your SQLite database is located, as well as perform import, export, clear, and reset functions. 
The Tooltip tab lets you customize the tooltip that is displayed when you hover the mouse over the monitor. The delay is how many milliseconds you'll have to hover over the monitor for the tooltip to be displayed. You can also set the unit of measurement that will be displayed on the tooltip. Lastly, in the Advanced tab, you can delete all temporary files and reset all of the changed settings. Quick Links just has a few links to various things you may find useful, like your network connections, traffic import wizard, checking for updates, etc. So that about covers everything you'll need to know to get up and running with NetSpeed Monitor. Also, I found out from using this that my ISP is wrong, and they are claiming that I'm using twice as much bandwidth as I'm actually using. I'm assuming this is something wrong on my end, maybe somebody broke my network password or I have a virus or something, but at least I know that something doesn't add up, and now I can figure out what the real issue is, instead of just blindly paying for more bandwidth. So thanks for watching, please rate and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.